Test 2 Compound Angle Multiple Choice Questions Question 1 Sin of 3 pi by 2 plus x is equivalent to 4 choices are sin x minus sin x cos x and minus cos x. Question 2 Cos of x minus 2 pi is equivalent to sin x minus sin x cos x or minus cos x. Question 3 Value of cos pi by 2 plus pi by 3 is minus half minus square root 2 over 2 minus square root 3 over 2 or 0. Well, here is a set of multiple choice questions which I have compiled from previous 10 years of questions. These are very good questions for compound angle formula. It's chapter 7 in Nelson. Now, I like you to read the questions, answer them yourself and then check my solutions. That will prepare you for the test. Okay, all the best and thank you. Here is my solution. Question 1, sin of 3 pi by 2 plus x. I will also explain you how we are getting the answer. So that's kind of a review for you. So whenever you have these kinds of questions, these three set of questions are kind of, uh, they involve co-function identities and writing your function in different forms. Sin 3 pi by 2 plus x is a co-function identity, right? So when we have 3 pi by 2, so this is pi by 2, 2 pi by 2, 3 pi by 2 plus x. That means we are talking about this triangle where that is x, right? This is the triangle we are talking about. Here, sine is negative, right? So sine is negative here and we are trying to compare it with acute angle x, right? Acute angle x will be this triangle, this triangle. Now, so sine changes to cosine, but since sine is negative in quadrant 4, we should have minus cos x as our answer, right? So the solution is D. Do you understand the concept, how we get the answer? Okay, question 2. Cos of x minus 2 pi is equal to what? Now, let us say this is cos of x. So if you do cos of x and then you do minus 2 pi, so what really happens? So that means you are here, right? And you go back, minus 2 pi is going clockwise and you come back to the same place. Do you see that? You come back to the same place, right? So, so it is cos x. Another way to look into it is like this. You could write this as cos of minus of. 2 pi minus x. Now cos of minus theta is cos theta, right? Cos of minus theta is minus theta. So you get cos of 2 pi minus x. Good. So 2 pi minus x will give you the triangle here, right? This triangle. Now cos is positive here, correct? And from the congruence of the two triangles, you can say it should be positive. And therefore the answer in both cases should be cos x, correct? Question 3. Value of cos pi by 2 plus pi by 3. So here what you should do is you should expand it. Right? That you can do one using compound angle formulas or you can use co-function identity. So you have two ways to do it. Correct? So you can say cos pi by 2 sine pi by 3 minus sine. Sorry. The, if you expand it then it is if you expand this, then the solution will be cos pi by 2 cos pi by 3 minus sin pi by 2 sin pi by 3. And if you use co-function identity, in that case, you know, pi by 2 plus this, so we'll, I'll go with co-function identity. That is much faster to do. So pi by 2 plus pi by 3 means you land here in this triangle, correct? Here cos is negative, so you are expecting a negative answer and the acute angle which you are talking about is pi by 3. So negative answer with pi by 3 angle. So make your special triangle, correct? And that is pi by 3. For this, your value is 2 square root 3, right? Cos pi by 2 plus pi by 3 is actually equals to minus, because cos is negative in this quadrant, minus sine pi by 3, right? 
pi by 3 sine the answer is square root 3 over 2 with minus sign therefore we get c as our answer correct also practice with expanding it in that case it will be cos of pi by 2 times cos of pi by 3 minus sine of pi by 2 times sine of pi by 3 right that's an alternate method now you know cos pi by 2 is 0 so the first term is 0 right and the second term is sine of pi by 2 is 1 so this is equals to minus sine pi by 3 and that is also we get the same answer do you see that thank you